Talofa YouTube, it's your boy who's so evil. Welcome back to another video, guys. So today we're in the garage again, and I got something to show you guys. Just wanted to share with you guys the new look of the Evo 10. Uh, we got the Varus bumper that we showed you guys in previous videos. It's finally painted, and I'm pretty stoked with the outcome there. Um, what's left is we still gotta paint that center piece there black. And also, shout out to my boy Paul and Julie. Um, in our previous, in some of our old videos, guys, you'll see that we went and bought these side skirts and the damage on it. But you can see there, it came out freaking nice. So we're pretty stoked. And um, here's the rear bumper painted. So we got to throw that on today. And um, we got the side skirt for the other side to go on still as well. There she is. So, at the same time, we got the wifey in the house. Shout out to wife. We got a helper. So we're gonna throw this skirt on, but quickly, let's uh, remove our old setup. Honestly, there's not much of a difference, but to match the front bumper, this is the new look of the Evo 10. And um, we actually one year anniversary of the Evo 10. Can you guys can you guys believe that that's crazy so i think it was on the 20 something last year uh, just like a week after my birthday we bought this car and um this is how she looks now oh my god bro she's come a long way <laughs> anyways guys um before we move on just want to make a special shout out to everybody who's been following your boy from the go all my all my people from TikTok all my og followers guys and if you haven't make sure you hit the subscribe button your boys back it's car season anyways without further ado let's get into this video all right guys first things first we're gonna slide the jack underneath yeah. all right guys don't forget safety first jack stands let's go Alrighty, guys, we finally got the car up on jack stands right there. We're gonna go ahead and start figuring out how to remove this rear bumper, and then uh, we'll go from there, as well as removing the side skirt. So let's get it in. If there ain't enough drama, they gon' make some. So now I'm looking for somebody just to chill with. While I'm saving up my heart for the realest Vibing I just need someone that'll roll up the swisher Tell a nigga spark it up Vibing I just need someone that'll pull out the handy Share this brown in my cup Vibing I just need somebody different Not necessarily innocent Somebody just to chill with Somebody who the real is all right guys so if just some pointers on removing the oem side skirts right it's just some tools that i recommend if you guys needed some help this is what i got going on right now for myself so i got a stubby phillips i got the driver and the plastic panel popper okay so you're gonna find a bunch of these phillips screws here um pushing up um just a fyi you don't really need to remove the um, plastic shielding screws. All right, so if you guys look under the car, right? There. You don't need to remove the left screw, but in that gap there where that hole is, that that's where these little Phillips screws are gonna go. You just gotta remove a couple of them. I think there's like five or six of them down um, underneath there. Like one, two, three, four, five, pushing upwards. And then the rest of the side skirt here is just a matter of the panel popper. So let's open this door and I'll show you guys what I mean. So like, I'm always seeing people breaking the, the, the clips for these side skirts. And the reason being is they're not using the proper tools for the job, okay? 
So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. You just pull it out from the end there. Once you got a, a little gap there where you can start prying, you use the tool. There you go. Is the clip broken? Clip broken? Doesn't look like it. We good. So you put the hook side of the tool in and then you just start sliding it and, and prying. So as I go along, look at that. No broken clips. Look, just they're just falling out. And when you use the freaking proper tools, guys, you you get a good quality job. Okay? Look at that. One one pry from the back. And it got all of them out clean. So yeah, that's why we got a carpet underneath. But anyways, we got the side skirt off now. So if you guys haven't got yourselves one of these plastic panel poppers, this is definitely something you gotta have in the kit there just to save. So when we look at the side skirt and we go to resell it to recoup some money for spending so much money on these uh, little virus side skirts, you have everything intact still and ready to go for the new owner so there it is that's the car with the OEM side skirt off with the carbon fiber underboard the virus side skirt and underboard ready to go on then it will look like this side to the untrained eye you don't see the difference but there is a difference I'm, I'm excited to see where this car goes and what it's gonna look like later on now that we got the side skirt off let's go ahead and um, start mounting the virus side skirt let's go guys thanks guys for watching up to this moment we finally got the side skirt on and i'm super excited to show you guys uh it didn't take too long and the fitment on um authentic parts bro i cannot recommend it enough so here's the skirts on the other side um we do need to repair our under our underboards but so we're gonna take these ones and i'll take it to my buddy uh jordan shields he, he repairs carbon fiber well we'll get him to do that thing where they sprinkle carbon over it or whatever that should still look cool but for now here's what the car looks like i like it man I like it. I'm really tempted to uh, cut out the the hood so we can drive the damn thing. Wow. I guess all we have left is the rear bumper. Let's get this rear bumper onto the car. And we're good, man. Sheesh. There it is. Got the rear in the sky. So it's just a matter of pulling her apart now. And we're good let's go all right guys our bumper is just sitting there we got all the screws off um just a heads up you got a 10 mil right there and then you got another one there you got another one there and like that on that end too so what you want to do is take off the end 10 mils and then there's this clip in here where the bumper goes in you want to just pull on it from the back push out don't pull it from the front and it should just pop out and you shouldn't be over here breaking shit, man. But there's a bumper now. We should be able to just um, pull her off and then throw the new one on. So let's get that one thrown on. I'll see you guys then. i uh -huh.
after a lot of fucking around, I finally got the damn fenders on. I mean, the uh, rear bumper. There it is. A little breathless, man. Paint match could be better, but not shabby. There it is, guys. We finally got the fucker on, dude. We managed to keep our... Um, there's just this piece right here I'm not too happy about because it didn't catch on the clip but after hours of fucking with this thing I feel like I'm good dude I'm content yeah so there it is let's throw these wheels back on I was having so many issues with it because there's a, the parachute bar behind there but you know with hard work comes results and I'm pretty happy with that man I'm gonna throw this light back on and I'll throw the wheels on and show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, and there it is. Such a beautiful car, man. What do you guys think, man? The paint match could be better. Um, we actually managed to get everything in decently lined up. This side, I showed you guys earlier, I wasn't too happy about. It actually came out pretty good. Side skirts. Rear bumper. Jeez. The car just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Hey. All right, well, thank you everybody for uh, joining me, hanging out with your boy Uso Evo. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'm really happy with the outcome of the Evo. Look at that thing, man. <laughs> oh, we got the side skirts. We got the rear bumper. Look at this rear end, man. Bruh. That thing is beautiful. There she is. Damn. Bro, this rear end is so tough, man. Let's go. Shout out to everybody who's been watching the uh, channel from the go. Thank you for watching the video, guys. It's your boy Uso Evil. Damn, she got cakes, man. So yeah, let me know if you guys need a um, rear bumper. We're gonna sell our old rear bumper. But yeah, there she is, man. All right, fam, we're going to wrap her up there. Thank you to everybody who's been um, hanging out with me. I'm excited to uh, get this car out there to the shows. Next up, we're going to uh, do a hood exit. Um, it's booked into going to the fab shop to do a hood exit with the wastegate coming out the hood. And she's done, man. I don't know if I should go wide body, but that's her right now, man. I'm really happy with it. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. It's your boy Uso Evil. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's I fucking go, go bro. Hard to a fake one. If there ain't enough drama, they gon' make some. So now I'm looking for somebody just to chill with. While I'm saving up my heart for the realest. I just need someone that'll roll up the switch and tell a nigga, spark it up. I just need someone that'll pull out the any share this brown in my cup. I just need somebody different, not necessarily innocent. Somebody.